Welcome back everybody, Herblin here with another exciting episode of Dwarf Fortress. Uh, today I think we're going to be working a little bit more on our water supply and making sure that that's a solid uh, foundation for the future. I'm noticing more and more vomit appearing out front here. Now I know we lost that miner below somewhere, I'm not even sure where they found the dead body. But, I mean, I, I didn't even see it. Um, but, is that is that really something to do with that? Did somebody find him and he was so disgusting that they threw up all over the place? I really have no idea. Uh, that's just really strange that, that that's how that went down. But it is, so yeah, I don't really know why. Anyways, so for today's episode, we're going to be working on a cistern underneath the base, which is going to be a big water well that we can draw out of when the water is frozen. And hopefully it's going to be down below enough that it doesn't freeze, kind of like this little tunnel of water happens to work like. Um, so we can pull out of something like that without having to leave the base too much. So without much further ado, I'm going to start on that. Now, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to start on that, so it might look a little bit weird as I kind of dick around with uh, with mining and such. I might have to fast forward through some bits because I really don't know what I'm doing. Now, we're going to make an upward stairway here, and now we know the water is just over here. But I think this is going to be our chamber, like our water chamber. This is where we're going to actually store the water is down here. And then we'll have to make the tunnel starting from the top side. Um, I'm going to put a little stairway down here. And we're going to make a little upward stair right here and just make a little tiny room for the doors to come down to. And that's where they can be their, begin their mining operations from. So that's going to be underway. We're going to start working on that. We've got this guy still making steel bars. This guy's got absolutely nothing to do. Now we made an iron door last episode. I'm going to put that on the front of the base. I have absolutely no idea if that's going to help us whatsoever. But hey, why not? Let's try it out. At least people will be like, hey, that is a cool looking iron door. And they'll be super happy to see that every time they come to the base and will look really awesome. But maybe not. So we started working on a little construction thing here. Uh, we worked on an upstairs. Now we're going to make a little down ramp up top if we can. Yeah. Out of. Oh, we've got ice we can make it out of, which will melt away. That's kind of cool. We can make temporary winter lodgings out of ice. Interesting. Did I put that in the right spot? Something tells me that looked really odd. So when we go up one level, we're floating over nothing, even though there should be a wall right next to that. It's almost like a parallel dimension. I really don't understand this. Yeah, there's dense knot grass. Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. Because up above us, oh geez, I get it. So up above us is actually grass. We've built up into the grass up, up top. So we're gonna have to get rid of some of this, I guess. We're gonna have to get rid of some of this uh, grass stuff. We're gonna get, have to get rid of some of the land up here. Ooh, that's gonna create a collapse. I just know that's gonna be a big fucking thing. Oh well, let's get rid of it. Jesus. Yeah, somebody's gonna get squished. Buddy down here is gonna have some kind of injury, but I don't really care. We've got dwarves. We've got dwarves to spare. We've got extra guys. Who really cares at this point? Um, what is everybody doing? We've got so many idlers. We're back to the idle problem. We've got people sitting around doing nothing. There's a small group going out to do something. Um, Nobody's made wooden crossbows. We have all these guys that are doing absolutely nothing now. I have been ill prepared and have not started my dwarf therapist program yet. Let's get that going. Come on, open that up. Because that is super, super important. If anybody gets into dwarf fortress, I really recommend number one thing that you do install dwarf therapist or at least the lazy new pack, which comes with that pre installed. It's going to take off so much of the frustration of starting a new fortress and so much frustration with uh, assigning jobs to some of these dwarves because they won't do anything most of the time. They're very lazy and they are super frustrating to assign uh, any kind of job to. If you don't, if you don't have uh, dwarf therapists, you have to go over and find the dwarves individually doing nothing and look at each and every one of their jobs and see why they're not doing something. And I mean, when you get to 50, 60, 70, 80 dwarves in your fort. I mean, that becomes a near impossibility to track down every single guy and try to figure out what they're not doing. See, a section of cavern has collapsed, so let's zoom to that. Um, yeah, that's exactly what I thought was going to happen. Who's dead? Whoa, that guy 
Same guy I called was gonna get hurt. Annoyed, confused after choking, uh, dust on the ground, <laughs> confused after being knocked out during a cave-in. So she's okay, I think. Oh, no, she is not. Her third finger right hand is done. Oh, that's old, though. That's something, that's Heli Charity. She's had that f for a long time. That That's, so that's nothing new. She's okay, just a little bit of dirt fell on her, freaked her out a bit, and the herbalist was annoyed and confused a little bit with that as well with the cave-in so minor discomfort minor 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 discomfort nothing too big overall we can actually check the happiness of our fortress as well with this tool or at least we used to yeah we still can fine so the very happiest of people are fine and the least happiest of people are simply fine ooh stress level negative 89.6 thousand moo so I guess they're fine. That's that's where that leaves us. They're fine. Everything's just, it's fine. It's not great. I'm fine. If you ever have somebody that tells you they're fine, they're usually not. They're usually the last thing from okay, but whatever. So they haven't started on this. We need more people, more games. <laughs> oh God, here we go. This is the one that kills someone. <laughs> These two fucks again. She feels hopeless after suffering a major injury this time. <laughs> uh, annoyed with choking on the ground. That guy has some major problems. Let's go look at him again in a minute. Oh, who's this? Okay, so, and our carpenter, annoyed after choking on the ground. His left foot is bruised. His lower body is bruised. His guts are bruised. So he's got some bruising. Nothing serious, though. He's just... What the fuck? Why do you keep dropping dirt on me? This guy feels pleasure. I mean, it. he says it's nothing to do with seeing these other people take damage, but I think it has something to do with it. So this one, he feels hopeless after suffering a major injury. Uh, he's annoyed after choking on dust on the ground, confused after being knocked out, indignant after forced to endure a practice craft for too long. So, wow, he's not happy, he's not happy with his work. And now his left upper leg is bruised, his right lower leg is bruised, his left lung is bruised, upper body bruised, right lower arm is bruised, hand is bruised. So it's just bruising, guy. Like, I'm sure you'll be okay. Mine is that lung. I mean, that could turn out to be something pretty terrible. And this guy's still doing it. Like, this guy up above, he doesn't even care. He's just, fuck it. I'm taking out the rest of it. I'm going to cause another big cave in. Here we go. Here we go. Are you ready? Oh. Oh, no, and that guy's done making steel because he ran out of the materials needed. Let's get him. Let's, oh, hey, look, it's the end of the season. It's New Year's. It's New Year's, so now we have 10 minutes of waiting. Spring has arrived. I walked away. I had a coffee. Got a freezy, which I'm just finishing up now. And uh, then, it, then it saves. So it does take quite a while for that saving process. That's how a bit of a big deal. I'm really surprised that guy didn't kill you. Oh yeah, something else did fall down. I knew it was gonna happen. We're Whoa, holy shit, that was a big one. This guy, again, annoyed. Did we kill anybody? Frustrated. Unable to practice his craft. Why can't he practice his craft? He's a hunter. We got lots of things that need being hunted, buddy. Why are you not? We got, oh, maybe he needs a crossbow. We got people working on crossbows. There's lots of crossbows in here. Uh, do we not have bolts? We got bolts. I know we got bolts. I don't understand what the problem is. Why can't you go hunting? We need hunters. Why aren't you hunting? We need that. We need those jobs being done. Why can't you go do it? Man, like, these people are hunting. Why isn't he? That's worrying me. That's weird as fuck. I don't understand. Oh, well. So... This guy's making masterpiece bolts. Apparently that's not good enough for some people to go hunting with. I don't understand. This guy's digging out this stupid thing. Um, it's going to be a while for this guy to dig this out. Like, this is a really long task. Takes these guys forever. Like, they're still at it. Maybe I need more more pickaxes being made, I think. Oh, yeah, we need that uh, that guy stopped making pig iron or made, making steel or something. So we need to get that going as well. So let's make a couple of iron pickaxe, um, and then let's get this on production of 
Hmm. Magnetite, I, I guess. Yeah, let's get magnetite coming out. That's more iron. More and more iron. Cause yeah, we got lots of steel bars. We don't oh, we don't have any iron bars left. We just got steel. Oh no, we got iron. Oh, pig iron. We don't have any iron bars. So um hmm. That's cool. So I guess we'll make two steel pickaxes. That's even better. I mean that is really good. I didn't want to waste steel on it, but that's that's amazing. Um, and then we'll do a couple steel helmets as well, and that's gonna make everybody a lot more protected And yeah, once those guys have steel helmets on I mean they'll be Their heads will be almost invincible uh, The rest of them not so much, but their heads will be quite indestructible. Hopefully hammer dwarf What's this guy up to fickle die stills? Content after sleeping in the good bedroom. So the, he thinks that's a good bedroom. He has very low expectations uh, within the last season, they felt satisfied at work before due to inebriation, so he's just drinking all the time. Bitter after getting into an argument. Content dining in a fantastic dining room, which hopefully was the new one. Because that other one, I'm, I mean, that guy has low expectations. Maybe he thinks the dirt one was good. I don't know. If somebody made me eat in a dirt room all the time, I'd be really annoyed. I mean, this, this place, it's sand floors with old peach wood floor tables. I don't know. Not amazing. Uh, we got unlimited here. He's eaten in his office. Euphoric due to inebriation. Uh, last season felt satisfied at work. Blissful after sleeping in a good bedroom. So these people like these bedrooms. I mean, that's weird. And he was bitter from an argument too. So maybe he argued with that other guy. So alcohol and meals being made oh, as a constant. Great. And let's brew drinks from plants. Keep that going. Repeat it. And keep making easy meals at this one too if, if we can I mean if we can make it meals we should be making them um, and why not right so we got lots going on now and this cistern I'm really excited to see this get made but it's just taken so long and we've got all these guys doing nothing so I want to assign a couple more people into the world of mining uh, I mean miners are super useful these are dwarves that we're talking about this is their whole livelihood it's just mining uh, at least from what I imagine from my experience watching Lord of the Rings and all that good stuff So let's just assign these two guys as miners and let's see do they automatically just run off and do that job? I hope Or at least go down below and, and help out possibly maybe maybe not No, they don't huh? Oh, no, we got three guys working on it now We got three flashing tiles, which means three people are about to start work. We got four flashing tiles. No three so we got three guys working on this now. That's a big step up. Once all these tiles are dug out, we can actually channel it out and make it a like a little pit. And that's what we're gonna want to do here. Channel. And then hopefully they're still able to climb out somewhere. We'll figure that out later if they cannot. But I, th I think they'll be able to. I'm, per I'm reasonably certain that they'll be able to. Uh, and then we need this area up here dug out. Hopefully. Hopefully that's, uh, yeah, that's coming along now. Great, so we've got somebody working on it. And, boom. Yeah, there's three. There's, oh no, just one. Sorry, for some reason I thought that was three guys coming in there. But it wasn't, it was just the one. And we'll do, we're doing, we've got to do stairways down, like a stairway down, because we got to make it mat, uh, meet up with that other one. And down. Up. Is this it? Yeah, that's it. And then we're gonna do a tunnel. Like that. I think that will work. I hope that, I really hope that will work. Um, because I don't know what I'm doing with these things. Like these are, this is something I don't completely understand. And then once this is all done, we're gonna wanna dig this over, right? We're going to want to attach that to the water and just let water pour in here and it'll go down those stairs really slowly and just trickle down and uh, save hopefully in this little room down here. And it will stay down there and we'll be able to pull it out. Is that copper? Malachite? What is malachite exactly? This is malachite. Hmm. Malachite is just some kind of green rock, I guess. I thought it looked like it was going to be some kind of like something like oh ore of copper it's right there in front of me I'm just an idiot oh so we do have copper that's cool I think we can make bronze and maybe make something out of that I'm not sure uh, what that's really good for but I'm sure it's something 
Did those guys ever get to hunting? Like, I don't know why hunting is off. Have I forbidden hunting? All dwarves harvest, all dwarves gather minerals. Um, yeah, have I refused hunting or something weird? Like, did I do something stupid? Like, why aren't these guys hunting? Like, we got all this amazing gear. Alvin caravan, that's disgusting. Let's see what these elves have. Let's take a look. Let's build them a trading depot. Let's build them a depot. Let's build them a depot so they can unload their garbage and their filth. And we'll see what they have and then maybe we'll rob them. Because, I mean, fuck elves, right? Oh, God. How are these fields coming out? We have no seeds, eh? Uh, quarry bushes and sweet pods. We'll do two quarry bushes and a sweet pod. Hopefully we'll use up any seeds that we have because right now these are doing absolutely nothing. Koala night? Don't know what that is. So we got this little thing dug out. No, we got these tunnels coming along. Now we're going to want this to connect here. I make it two because I want, I'm hoping that, you know, we have a good flow of water coming in whatever maybe it'll fill it faster probably not but whatever huh so right now yeah right now we just got to connect that once these two tunnels are done because we don't want to connect it now then all of a sudden it's spring and you know the water thaws out and these guys get trapped is this anything good no it's not so yeah because then they'll, they'll just drown right and we'll kill everybody that's mining we won't have any miners again and nothing will get done and it's just this big mess and we have to make a funeral for them. We have to make caskets. And who knows where the woodshop guy went. Because he fucked off. And we are just smelting ores. And yeah. Steel bars, steel helmets. Oh, that guy's making some pretty nice stuff. He is making some pretty nice stuff indeed. Let's get these guys equipped. Um, let's give gloves. Can we just give them gloves? I mean, gauntlets, right? Take gauntlets. I don't want to get specifically start handing out gloves to these guys, but um, take gauntlets if you can, because there's lots of gauntlets, right? Uh, now, if we can't tell each of them to take gauntlets, hopefully they just go take them. Nobody's getting specifically the best ones, um, but I, I mean, there's left and right, and I always get so confused when I'm assigning those. I like to micromanage a lot in this game. Like, I find maybe I overdo the micromanagement stuff, and I spe specify way too much. Uh, of what we're doing exactly but I mean that's just how I like playing this game like I end up giving them specific stuff like this guy is getting a specific helmet this guy's getting a specific helmet because I want to make sure that I mean that's our leader that's Ryukan right there I don't want him to get something garbage like he's sitting there with a leather hat on and dicking around with that because I want him to have the best helmet and I want to make sure that these guys have what I want them to have and like this guy Aban, the spear dwarf, or like this sword dwarf, if he was still using a, a spear, I wouldn't really care about him. He's kind of a, he kind of seemed like a dumb dwarf, even though that wasn't my fault. I might not want him to have something good, so I might not give him the best the best gear at that point. So we're gonna go with another. We're just gonna give these guys specific helmets down the line here because we've already started that uh, that dangerous path. <laughs> there, and then once we start. Once we have a little bit more, we'll assign the rest of them these things as well. So they've got gauntlets and they've got helmets on now. These guys are going to be really good, like really well armored, which is super exciting. Once they get into battle, once they start killing these stupid elves, here they come. Like, oh my god, they might even be able to. What do these guys have? Like, what do these elves have? Oh, this could be the end of us. Like, you could see me being like, oh, we're going to go take out these elves. And then all of a sudden, you know, they come out and they're just like... Like, what are you doing? Like, why, you know, and they just kill us. But we're going to just try to rob the shit out of these guys because I don't like them. Elves are the bane of Dwarf Fortress. Anybody that knows elves hates them because they're just absolutely the worst. No, I just say that because these guys are like just massive liberal pains in the asses. Uh, they live next to you. They complain if you cut down too many trees or destroy the land. They're like weird hippie neighbors and they're kind of like the anti-dwarf. Because the dwarves are industrious, they're kind of not all about nature, they're not really harmonious with the land, they take from the land, they exploit the land, and they're kind of awful about it. But the dwarves, or the owls rather, they're kind of like the anti, like the complete anti, uh, anti, whatever, you know what I'm trying to say, the anti-dwarf. So, hmm, do we want to kill Dolmas? Who's Dolmas? 
We want to figure out who we're attacking first, because I want to make sure that these guys are all elves that we're killing. I don't want to kill somebody that's just like a diplomat or something stupid. Like some weird diplomat came, and I happen to kill him, and it's my fault. So this guy's name is Ale. He's an Ale the Elf. Fellow the Elf. What the hell? Ithithig. Ithithi Ale and whatever. So squad, get ready to kill all my orders. We are going to kill Ale. And you're going to kill... Oh, you're going to just go out and kill him. Ha! Here they come. They're packing up. They're running. Squad, get them. Get them, guys. Where, where's our army? What? How do they know what we were doing? H. Get H, too. Don't forget to get H. Oh. They're getting away. They're getting away. They're getting away. That guy's come. Oh, they got away. So we angered the elves. We angered the elves. That's good, though. Because I don't like them. Oh, we did kill them. And then they killed that guy, and then they just left the rest of it, I guess. I, I didn't assign all the kills I was supposed to. So we, we improperly uh, attacked them. Like, we shouldn't have done it that way. But... Uh, is there anybody left on scene for them to even kill? I wonder. Hmm. He's doing well. He's, ha he's bored, unable to practice his craft, I guess. But I didn't see anything about him feeling happy about killing anything. Uh, they left a camel behind. Go kill it. Go kill the camel. Go kill their camel if you can find it. Where is it? These guys are going out to look for it. I mean, I guess, like, what do we get out of this guy? Some hemp? Like I said, these guys are like weird, weird hippies. Like, this guy's got, like, rope reed socks, rope, like, like, what the hell? Like, who wears reed clothes? I don't even know what a jute hood is. He has a hemp hat on. Like, this guy is just like the ultimate big weirdo hippie. Probably, I mean, minus the dwarves have the big smelly beards, but wow. Hemp loincloth. Like, that's absolutely disgusting. Yeah, size for elves. Uh, maybe somebody will wear it. Maybe it'll be a trophy. These guys are going after this way. Huh. They don't seem to have anything to kill. You know what? Cancel the kill. Just go back and train. <laughs> Just go back and get better because we're going to need it momentarily when we're all under attack from these elves. Uh, which I think is going to be soon. So this guy's back to making just iron. Um, hmm. I kind of feel like an idiot because I really messed that up and that could have been really fun. But we're just antagonizing the elves, I guess. So before this completely thought... Oh, that was already thought out. We're already too late. So let's try to get this dug out. Let's cancel that one. We're going to dig out this and we're going to connect this in and... Uh, start flooding that cistern underneath the base so we have a water supply and then we're going to hook up a well inside uh let's see is this going to be oh my god get out of there get out of there what was the blood from who died oh wild boar blood what why did that just start spilling in why did wild like was wild boar blood on somebody and the water washed it off like that was really weird so we've got Water coming down this tunnel. Water, okay, so this is actually working. We're gonna fill this area up with water underneath the base and we're gonna have a little well to draw from. Hopefully, yeah, it's gonna be right behind. Let's see. Let's see where it is exactly. Ooh, up a little bit. Maybe I put it in a bad spot. We can draw from it. Yeah, we can put a well right here and we'll be able to draw from it. And we'll just do a little hallway to it. And we'll make it look nice and we'll put statues around it and that's going to be their water well that they go to and some drunken dwarf will stumble out of his room when it talks get it evening and probably urinate down there but they'll still drink it at least nobody will like people will die of some kind of weird sickness before they die of something else hey maybe things we use at the break into our base too i bet things might try to swim in there and something they can swim they're gonna get us can we claim his stuff did we claim his stuff yeah let's just claim it is, hey, it's treasure that we stole from this guy. 
take a leap. What did I do? What happened? I got distracted. Yeah, come on. Take all this stuff. Oh. His head is, he's been like cut right apart. He was chopped right to bits. Who killed him? Who got that kill out there? thinking it was somebody maybe it was our well let's see before I speculate too much let's take a look at the, what these guys have well this guy is covered in blood like I'm looking at his inventory and this is all his blood I was just looking for a spear to see does it have any kills on it it doesn't this guy's just covered in blood though um, hmm this guy's spear does he have any kills no nothing it's none of these guys. The sword dwarf. Come on, the head was cut off. Was it him? Or was it the guy with the axe? Was it, uh... No. It wasn't this guy. Maybe they're just covering up. They, nobody wants to admit who did it. Nobody wants to admit who did it. The hammer dwarf with the iron spear. This guy is a big weirdo. Well-crafted iron spear. Hmm. So I really don't know who, uh, who killed who. Maybe it was Ryukan with his with his axe. Because that guy is dismembered like crazy. Like, I mean, that guy's missing his head, a leg, all this, like, ridiculous stuff is missing off of his body. So I'm wondering if, you know, he was axed to death? Because that would make sense to me. Like, that's how I would see it. But who knows? So how's that cistern going? How are they doing on filling this up? That's getting... Whoa, shit. What's it doing? Why is it coming out of that tunnel? Oh no. I hope it doesn't start coming up the stairs. I didn't realize it was gonna. Oh. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Uh. Okay. This is a, a thing. We need a wall made. Donald Trump, 2016. No, but we need a wall, like, right away. <laughs> we need somebody to come in. Uh, I don't care what they use. We need something readily available. This is 31 away. It's wood. I don't even care. Go down and make a wooden wall right now. Like, we need somebody down there. Stat. Oh, my God. No, that wasn't. That's already too late. It's already too late. Oh, God. Oh, man. That's already... You know what? Just remove that. Because that's not good. That's not happening. Um... Hmm. I think the water is going to come up here. I think I think our water... I'm not an engineer. I'm, I'm just not. It's just not something. It's not my job. I'm not an engineer. I've never claimed to be an engineer. Oh my god. What have I done? Man. <laughs> what have I done? What have I done to our beautiful mine? Oh, it's so full of water. Please don't come up this far. Please don't come up another stair. I bet it does. Oh. That was just supposed to be a well. Like, we just needed water. And now it's more than a well. Like, we don't have a mine anymore? Or, I mean, we have. we can make a new mine, but... What, what are these guys doing? They're still going down the stairs, I think. Like they're grabbing stuff. They're just, oh, I forgot my sandwich down there. And they're running down into the flooding mines. What do they think they're doing? They're nuts. Oh, maybe they're going up the stairs and I'm just reading it into it wrong. So where's our axe dwarf? Let's find that guy, see if he got that kill. He's still not here. Oh, there he is. So, oh. That's not it. Okay, there we go. I had it the first time. Iron battle axe in his left hand. Left handed. It's got an exceptional iron battle axe, but it doesn't seem to have any kills on it. I don't I don't understand. I don't know who killed who. Hmm. Look at his stats. He's satisfied after teaching wrestling. Bored after unable to, to practice craft. Blissful after sleeping in a good bedroom. Euphoric due to inebriation. Satisfied after learning about wrestling. So, that's not the the elf killer. 
I really thought it would be because I mean the axe and the amount of damage that was done to me that would have screamed axe like really axed I mean missing head missing leg doesn't say spear to me I just I don't see it happening with a spear um, and it wasn't the sword so I mean who got that kill who got the kill I don't know we'll never know we'll find out someday Ah, uh, this whole f this whole thing is flooded. It's all is destroyed. Oh, I just wanted a drink of water. I just wanted a drink of water. Oh no. Oh, what's this? Go what's going on here? Why is that flashing? A pool of wild boar blood. A pile of mud. Oh man, mud is coming up. What? these idiots doing so that's a mud stairway now it's just a mud mud stairway which I would imagine to be just a muddy slope like a big muddy pit on the floor but water doesn't seem to be coming up wait until the pressure builds in this chamber down here and then we'll find out more uh, but so far so good in that water hasn't began to creep up the, that stairway because this is I mean this is their home <laughs> I was really worried that it was gonna just flood out the whole base and that I just created a mess I mean it did create a mess but it's manageable I think so we need a well we really need a well now um, uh, and I think we need to build a little hole here or something maybe I think and then we need to do a, like a well I don't know what that's under but we're gonna put one down so that that wasn't a complete waste of time uh, and it mostly was I, I give you that but damn like why why am I such an idiot needs an open space so yeah we'll put that well down after they dig out that little hole which should be in a moment and still good news nothing coming in here yet so let's place down a well. Do we have all the stuff? We have a block, we have a bucket, a rope, and we just need a mechanism. And then we've got the ability to make this little well. Uh, this is, I mean, it's still cold water, I guess, because we still have ice out here. We still have ice in the moat until just now, as I say it. Of course, until as I say it, uh, we had ice. We no longer do. Holy shit. Do you guys uh, remember a time when I said, hey, you know, we might run into frame rate issues if I create this big thing into a waterfall, if I create this big open space here into a waterfall? Apparently at some point that turned into a waterfall and now some migrants have arrived. So we've created a just, oh God, what have we done? This is filling this valley below us is just gonna be a big mess of water uh, and I don't like it doesn't serve a purpose it's just something that I did and I, I didn't mean to but I did uh, so we've created a an enormous waterfall for absolutely no reason and it will just run forever it's never gonna stop and it's just gonna go forever because it's going to run off the map and it's never going to fill up. It's never going to be finalized. That could be almost game breaking if we don't find something to do with it. Um, yeah, I I am such an idiot. Like I really, really don't know how to manage water. And yeah, I really don't because Jesus Christ, we're flooding. Um, what the I'm just, I'm literally face bombing right now. I am literally face bombing myself. Let's, uh, can we get rid of the stockpile? Can we just clear it? Can we remove this? Oh, my awful engineering skills. We've just flooded the base. We flooded the entire thing. We're gonna have to come down here. It's like the Titanic right now. You gotta think, this is icy, icy water. <laughs> this guy. These guys are all in their beds. Like, these guys are in their rooms, right? These guys are sleeping. This guy has a baby with him. This guy has a baby. 
the water is coming in his room. He's like, oh, maybe I should pick my baby up off the floor. What's going on? And this is deep water. Like, this is overflowing. There's just a wave coming through right now. Like, a tidal wave is coming through the base. And I bet it comes up here. Like, I bet... Oh, fuck off, eh? Like, we just... We just flooded it. Like, I don't even know what, what to do right now. I mean, we could try to pump it out. But... That's... I mean, you guys know that my skills with water management are not good as is. So me trying to pump this water out to do something is likely just going to result in a bigger problem for everybody. Um, damn it, dude. Like, I don't know what to do. I really don't. Like, these guys are just going to drown, I guess. Like, I don't... Like, they're not even trying to get out. This guy's still cooking. Like, this guy is still... You know, you don't need to work down here anymore. Um, can we add a zone? I think we can add a zone somehow. So, let's do a zone of everywhere here. Oops. And can we just make that a... Like, no access, I thought? Like, can we just bar everybody from going in here? Okay, so what I was looking for, I guess, was restricting traffic. Down here, I think that's what I was thinking of. And I've just restricted traffic to the entire area down here. But it doesn't seem to be getting anybody's attention. Like, nobody seems to be too worried. Like, they're like, well, whatever. This is my bedroom. I'm just hanging out here with my kids and having a good time. Yeah, well, people are going to die, I guess. I'm, I'm going to call the episode here only because I... I mean, all I'm doing at this point is watching with horror as everybody dies. And that that's that. I mean, the upstairs is going to start flooding soon, obviously. Uh, it's not going to... It can't stop with where it is. Like, I, I don't think it's stopping down below. I think it's just going to keep coming up. And keep coming up once this is full. It's going to work its way up and, like, our base... Our fortress is just the Titanic and it's a sinking ship. And whoever survives, survives and we'll move on with the survivors. I mean, we got a bunch of migrants anyways. We don't, we got, I mean, dwarves are expendable. That's what I'm trying to say. Maybe I, this isn't the greatest time considering I just antagonized the shit out of those elves. But, you know what, it is what it is. <laughs> I've had a lot of fun with this episode. I mean, I was waiting for something exciting to happen. And I've had a lot of fun with this, even though this is just my own stupidity creating problems but that store fortress it's a lot of fun and by fun i mean you will die and you will lose everything due to some stupid thing like that but you guys thank you so much for staying tuned um like comment leave a comment for me let me know what you guys think subscribe to my channel if you're really feeling it and uh, just let me know give me some kind of feedback let me know what you guys think uh thank you guys so much for staying tuned and until next time